if you are looking for some support for current affairs if you are a fresher you are a working professional you are a repeater but you want some support for current affairs then i have a program for you uh, i have given the uh, brochure and also the uh, announcement video link in the description you can watch if you are interested hello all welcome back to current affairs atlas series i'm guna madivanan from offices ias academy in today's video we are going to discuss about consumer protection act 2019 consumer Protection Act 2019. See this. Consumer Protection Act was not in news directly. The Consumer Protection Authority was in news. Uh, let me explain. As per the Act, we will discuss the Act only. Okay. This Act is defining who is a consumer. As per the Act, the person who obtains a good for his personal purpose. I buy a good for my personal purpose then I am called as consumer. If I purchase a good, if I purchase a good and I resell it, I resell it, I am not a consumer. So under this, anyone who buys a good or avails a service for a consideration, he pays something, he buys and he uses it for personal purpose. If he is buying it for resale, then that person will not be called as consumer. I may be purchased in offline mode, to telemarketing mode, to online mode, e-commerce mode, that doesn't matter. I buy for my personal purpose, I am consumer. If I am buying it for resale, I will not be called as a consumer under this Consumer Protection Act. This Consumer Protection Act is setting up a national consumer protection authority, a central level consumer protection authority is being set up. What is the objective of this authority? To promote, to promote, to protect, to enforce the rights of the consumers. To promote, to protect and enforce the right of the consumers, the Central Consumer Protection Authority was set up. And not just that, they will be the regulator. So if there is any violation of consumer rights, they will take action. Unfair trade practices, they will take action. Any goods are not good, they can order for recall of goods. If there is misleading advertisements, they can take actions, they can impose penalties. It functions under Ministry of Consumer Affairs. Yes, when there's misleading advertisements, they can impose fine not just on the product producer, they can impose fine on the product endorser also. For example, see if there is a misleading advertisement given by the product manufacturer, misleading ad given by the product manufacturer, a penalty up to 10 lakh rupees or even imprisonment up to two years can be given. But if there is going to be misleading again, once again, if they come up with a misleading advertisement, the penalty can go up to 50 lakh rupees, the imprisonment can go up to three years and even the brand endorser. So here even Shah Rukh Khan can be arrested. He can be sent behind the bar as per the Consumer Protection Act when there is a misleading advertisement. Right, with respect to Consumer Dispute Retrosal Commission. So, you will be having Consumer Dispute Retrosal Commission at district level, at state level, as well as at national level. You buy a product, if the product cost is less than 10 crores, if the product cost is less than 10, sorry, less than 1 crore, less than 1 crore, you buy a car, if your car value is less than 1 crore, there is some defect in the car, you want to raise a complaint, you can go to district retrosal commission. If the product which you have purchased, if the cost is anywhere between 1 crore to 10 crores, if there is any dispute, then you can go to the state commission. If the product value is more than 10 crore, then you can go to a national level commission to solve your dispute. Now you go to a district level commission, they give a verdict, they give a verdict, you are not happy, you are not happy, you want to appeal, yes you can appeal, from a district level commission you can take the appeal to state level commission, from state level commission you can take the appeal to national level commission, from national level commission you can take the appeal to the supreme court, right, so I buy something, I have an issue with the product. I ask the producer, no proper reply, I have a grievance, I can take the case to the district level commission provided my product is worth less than 10 crore, Sorry, 1 crore, 1 crore. If it is between 1 to 10, go to state level, if it is more than 10, go to national level, 
you go to state level commission they are giving a verdict you are not happy you are not happy or the producer is not happy about the verdict now i give a verdict against a particular mobile phone company the district commission is ordering huge penalty over the mobile phone company mobile phone company is not happy they can appeal to the state level commission there they are not happy they can go to national level commission national level commission they are not happy they can go to the supreme court right so this is about the consumer dispute addressal commissions the act also talks about product liability so i buy a product the product is defective now i complained the product is replaced that alone is not sufficient using that product i am facing some injury i am facing some harm i am facing some injury so that should also be compensated that is called as product liability i buy a car okay there is a problem the problem is getting replaced that is not product liability now because of that harm that 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 you know wrong product let's say i am facing some injury some harm then that expense should also be covered that is product liability e filing e filing of complaints not just e filing friends now assume that you are going to delhi for your interview in delhi you are buying a biscuit packet right after coming to chennai only you realized that the the biscuit packets they have cheated you they have cheated you for example assume that you are going to delhi you are buying a a biscuit packet which has 100 grams the weight is 100 grams but they say 25% extra they say 25% extra that means ultimately it should be 125 grams because 25% extra but you bought that biscuit packet in delhi you came to chennai in chennai you had a doubt you are weighing it it is only 110 grams that means 15 grams has been cheated now you are in chennai now can you raise a complaint in chennai dispute redressal commission yes you can the 2019 consumer protection act is enabling that you can file a complaint from any place before the 2019 act the older act was saying if you are purchased from delhi you have to give complaint only in delhi but now the new act says not required you purchase something from delhi you come to chennai only in chennai you are realizing the defect you can give complaint in the chennai district consumer redressal commission no problem at all you want to give online complaint yes now the commission the district redressal commission is asking you for participating in the hearing process you are not able to physically come you want to have a video conferencing that is also enabled all these are provided uh for under the new act right and you give a complaint the complaint has to be accepted within 21 days the complaint has to be accepted within 21 days and the complaint has to be resolved within 3 months if the complaint has some laboratory testing for example a health drink i'm giving a complaint against health drink i say that the health drink has some unwanted ingredient which is harmful for the children i say i give some such complaint some laboratory testing is involved in that case the maximum time period to solve that case should be 5 months other instance 3 months and laboratory testing involved 5 months okay so these are the features of the consumer protection act so what are the rights which consumers enjoy right to file complaint from anywhere right to seek compensation under product liability because previously product liability was not mentioned only the court will order product liability but here the act itself has provision for product liability right to protect consumer as a class that means what now i buy a car there is some defective product in the car i raise a complaint that is getting replaced right but but like me so many people would have purchased that car for others also same defective product would have been placed that has to be replaced so here the consumer rights will be protected as a class only i went and i am getting replaced that is not the provision i will be getting replacement but like me there are other people could have purchased the same car if they want to so even even they they have not raised the complaint but the car manufacturers they have to change the defective product of all the cars right because under this act the rights will the rights to the consumers is not just for one consumer 
here the right to protect consumer as a class is also an inbuilt provision of this act able to understand i buy a car there is some defect that defect is being corrected that is going to benefit me what about others others also would have purchased the car during the same parallel time that is you would have seen in the newspaper maruti has recalled the new batch of cars which was sold in the last 6 months right maybe one person would have went to maruti they would have noted the defective piece now immediately maruti will say that we are recalling all the cars which are sold between these months and they will re they will be uh, changing the defective part and they will give you, they will be giving back the cars whatever they have recalled so all these are happening because the consumers are treated not as a single person but as a class in this act right so video conferencing i have explained a right to know why a complaint was rejected if your complaint is getting rejected there should be at least one hearing in that one hearing they should explain that why the complaint is getting rejected i give a complaint within 21 days they have to admit if they are rejecting there should be at least one conference there should be at least one meeting that one meeting they have to explain that why the complaint is getting rejected so these are all the rights which the consumers enjoy so the old act the new act i have given the comparison you can go through right you can go through so this is a previous news article you go to a star hotel usually five star hotels three star hotels when you have food along with the in the bill in the bill let us say you are having food for 2000 rupees they will add gst all fine but they will also add something called a service charge called a service charge service charge is nothing but a tip which they are asking for the service charge can be 10% 20% it, it all depends upon there's no standard it all depends upon that particular hotel restaurant only so this service charge whether the hotels can ask is it mandatory that you have to pay the service charge right sometime back the central consumer protection authority said it is not mandatory it is not mandatory so you go to next time you go to a star hotel just look at the bill if there is service charge you can ask the hotel you can ask the hotel to remove the service charge you can ask the hotel to remove service charge because central consumer protection authority has said this is not mandatory and you need not mandatorily pay like tax service charge is not a tax now why it was actually in news that is not significant that is not significant okay a national consumer dispute redressal commission has dismissed an appeal filed by a private player basically the uh, central consumer protection authority was coming up with an order that order was challenged by a private player in the uh, national consumer dispute redressal commission the national level commission they said no no nothing doing whatever uh, order passed by the central consumer protection authority that is valid so we cannot dismiss that order that why news was not significant okay just know about the features of this consumer protection act